guys, my name is Destiny. If you're new here, I wanted to discuss my sewing plans, what kind of fabric I've bought recently, what kind of things I plan to make, and what I have already made. So if you're interested in that kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. I didn't want to start this video off without something that I have already made, which is this top. I absolutely love this shirt. It has a peplum bottom. It also has bias tape in the armhole as well as three buttons in the very back. I am so in love with this shirt. It is Simplicity 9611 and it is UB. So it's a little bit more cropped and I am in love. I think I wanna talk about fabric first. So let's start there. Let's start off with this fabric that I have. This. Oh my gosh, you guys, this fabric is absolutely beautiful. It is a viscose fabric. I got it from Mood Fabrics, and I am so in love with the drape. I'm so in love with the texture, the feel. Like, I am literally in love with this, as well as the pattern. Like, if this doesn't say springtime to you, baby, I don't know what it say. But it definitely says springtime to me. I have so many plans for this fabric. I bought three yards of this and I am absolutely in love. I actually want to buy a different colorway in this. They have a green and they also have an orange. And I think the orange will be absolutely beautiful as like a two-piece set. By the way, I have never done a video like this before. So I'm going to put some inspiration pictures on the side so that you guys can see what I'm going for and what kind of looks I'm trying to create for this summer. But if you don't know, I decided that I wanted to sew my own clothes because it was hard for me to find things that fit my growing breasts considering I'm breastfeeding my daughter still and I also wanted things that have buttons or zippers in the front so it'll be easy access so I wouldn't have to like lift my shirt up in order to feed her because I feel like that is just so tacky that's just my opinion okay do what you want to do but I'm like I have a sewing machine I can buy yards of thread and make two or three garments out of you know a few yards of thread and spend way less money than I would like purchasing an entire new wardrobe I would definitely be spending more time I'm making my own garments but I felt like I would appreciate all of my clothes more and they would fit me better because I'm making them myself so that is why I decided to sew my own clothes I talked about it in one of my videos I will link it in the cards if you want to see it but anyway I love this fabric it is absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna get more colorways as long as it's not sold out so let's talk about other things I want to make with this fabric outside of this beautiful shirt that we have here. I would like to make Simplicity 9326. I love this dress. It's so cute. It's so flowy. It's airy. It's breezy. I would want to make it out of the orange colorway of this though because I just think it will look better in orange. Plus orange really complements brown skin. So if you're a brown girl, I hope you're wearing orange this summer, okay? Anyway, I think this will be a super cute dress to make. I also want to make a button-up shirt. So I'm going to make um, Simplicity 1538. I made this shirt before and it turned out super cute. So... I want to make it again, but in a drapier material. I kind of wanted to have that oversized look so I could pair it with a pair of shorts. I'll put an inspo picture up on the screen here. So that I could wear this like to the beach or something like that over my bathing suit. It'll be like more of a cover up kind of thing, but I could wear it out too if I decide that I want to instead of just a cover up. I feel like this fabric gives a lot of versatility as well as a button up shirt. You can tie it around your waist. You know, you could do so many things with a button up shirt, especially if it's a little bit oversized. So that's why I think this fabric is perfect for this shirt. I also want to make Simplicity 8606. I think this is such a cute wrap skirt. It's flowy, it's breezy, it's giving summertime vibes. Like, I think it'll be so cute. I actually wanted to make it in linen as well. But I would probably make View D. I like the ruffle or even View C, but I think View C would just be a little too short. It'll be showing a little bit too much. So I think View D is better. How she has this kind of flowy. This perfect. I also want to make McCall's 8174. This is so cute. But this pattern actually calls for two-way stretch knits. And this is not knit whatsoever. This is viscose, 100% viscose. So I don't know how that will work. But I think View B will be so cute. Like a maxi kind of dress with like a little bit of bunching right here. 
I think that'll be so cute. So View B will be perfect for this. But this fabric for the spring and summertime is such a vibe. So I'm going to leave some more inspiration pictures on the side so you guys can know what other things I want to make. So out of order. But I did make this same shirt in this fabric that I got from Joann's. I got it a while back. I don't even know if they have it anymore. But it's just yellow and it has pretty little sunflowers on it. This was my test fabric because I didn't have any muslin. So this was my test fabric and I absolutely loved it, but I didn't finish the armholes. I didn't finish the buttons in the back and I didn't finish the bottom hem, but I am going to so that I can wear this one as well because it's very, very breezy. Also, I cut a size 18 because I wanted it to be oversized. I wanted it to have like that flowy fit. I didn't want it to be tight because this is not like a tight, you know, kind of shirt I just didn't think it'll be flattering if it was tight so I am going to finish this shirt up I'm going to attach the buttons I'm going to finish the armhole and I'm going to finish the hem so that way I could wear this shirt in the summertime as well I purchased this apple green but um I love the color but I don't particularly care for the material itself I never sewn with broadcloth before. I've never sewn with any of these materials before. Okay, so I was skeptical, but I just love the color. It's very beautiful. It's apple green, you know, it screams summertime, springtime to me. And I decided that I wanted to make a two piece set for me and my husband's date night. I was like, I'm gonna put myself to the challenge. I'm going to make a set. The set didn't come out the way I wanted it to. I decided that I was gonna sew 9611 The Pants View C in this same pattern that I made this shirt from. And I drafted up a muslin. This is the muslin right here. I didn't finish the hem or the waistband or the zipper for that matter because I like the way they fit. I did adjust the top because the top was coming like all the way to my belly button and I wasn't feeling that. But I like the way these fit. They were very flowy. It was super cute. So I was like, let me cut it out of my apple green fabric so I can wear these two pieces together. It'll be cute, right? <sighs> Y'all, I didn't have enough time to finish it that day. Let me just say that. But I attempted to finish these pants. I attached the waistband and I'm just, I'm just not in love with them. I don't know why they don't fit like the test garment did. These muslins fit really good. They have like a little bit of stretch, a little bit of room, but I like the way they fit. I think because of the material itself, these don't have a very flattering fit. My pants are still too big. I am not in love with them. So I tried to alter them. I tried to take them in, in the back, in the front, and... They just weren't coming out the way that I thought they should have. So I kind of cut into some fabric and I wish that I didn't, but it happens to the best of us. So I'm going to take this same fabric and I'm going to take it all apart, like seam rip everything, the pockets. I even put the same fabric from this in the pocket. So it'll give me like a little bit of contrast, but... I'm going to take it all apart, the darts, everything. I'm going to take everything apart. I'm going to attempt to make another pair of pants, either Simplicity 8056 or Simplicity 1370. I really like all of the views on here, so I'm going to attempt to make view A, the skirt. I think this, this fabric will be super cute as a skirt, and I can save some of it for something else. Last, but certainly not least... I picked up this 97% cotton, 3% elastane in like this camouflage blue colorway. I am in love. This is actually sold out, so I'm sorry that I couldn't get this video up fast enough, but y'all, this fabric is so beautiful. I think blue is my favorite color if you didn't know, but I love this fabric. I think this would be so cute in so many different things. I want to make a few things. I haven't decided on which one I actually want to make yet, but I have a few in mind. So I think this shirt will be really cute, 9679. Um I would like to do view B with no sleeves. I think that'll be super cute, a super cute shirt. Somebody in the bathroom, I'm sorry. <laughs> make sure you wash your hands, please. So I think this will be a super cute shirt, I think. This is actually a new pattern, relatively new, not like very new, but relatively new. This is Simplicity 9701. Mimi G actually has a sew along for this and it's a really easy pattern. So I'm thinking that this will be so cute in a material like this because it does have stretch. But this pattern calls for stretch knits only, like rib knits. And we can talk about rib knits in a minute, but... 
I think it'll still be cute. Like, I really do think that this dress will be super cute. Just very simple because the pattern is so jazzy. And then lastly, with the same fabric, I think McCall's 8139 will be so cute because you could do so much with this. Um, you can make it short sleeve. You can make it short. You can make it long sleeve. You can make it long. You can make it extra long with the belt. I think this is so cute. And then it has buttons all the way down the front, which is my jam because I'm still breastfeeding my daughter. Okay, let's talk about this knit dress that I made. I made it in like two days, so it didn't take long. And Mimi G's husband, Norris Ford, does have a sew along for it, so that was super helpful. I don't even think I looked at the instructions. I just watched the sew along and sewed along with him. This is the knit dress that I made. I know it doesn't look like much of anything, but I will put pictures on the screen. I love this dress. So this dress is Simplicity 9598. It looks like this. I actually bought two of these. I bought envelope six through 14, hold on. And I also bought envelope 16 through 24 because I honestly thought that I was gonna have to grade through both patterns for my hips because there is a 10 inch gap from my waist to my hips. My waist is like 33 and then my hips are 47 and a half. So you do the math. But I actually didn't have to grade through both patterns because this fabric is super stretchy. Now I got this fabric from Japan. I used every last bit to make this dress. So I didn't have enough of the orange to make the back tie. So I used some pink knit fabric that I had, so it has a bit of a contrast. And I love it, I really do. The only thing that I don't like is that the elastic in the back wasn't fitting me right. So in this back part right here, this cutout, the elastic was bunching up a lot and I didn't like that, so I had to cut it out. And I basically had to do a sway back adjustment. So I just pinned the area in the back where it was bunched up and then I just sewed up. I know that makes no sense whatsoever, probably, but that's what I did, and it fit like a glove. I absolutely love it. I think that's all that I have for you guys so far, but I will say that I am going to buy some more fabric from Mood. I absolutely love Mood, and there are a few other websites that I want to try out, but Mood, they can get my dollars, okay? So I do want to do another fabric haul. I do want to do another video on my sewing plans. And I do want to share what I make for the month so that we can continue to engage in a sewing journey together. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share where you share videos. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye!